Hi, right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. We have a new donation deck here. Uh, Beautiful Angels is the name of this one. Uh, do you think the extra look on Shimmer is worth playing over Anticipate? Yes. I think four looks is a lot better than three, and I don't really mind the sorcery speed. Um, yeah, looking at four is certainly better than three. So... There we go. Um, so yeah, so what we got here is we're uh, really trying to get Resplendent Angel and Lyra Dawnbringer. That's like our our heavy hitting combo that uh, we're we're trying to do here. We got four of each. That's the main thing. We're also playing a bunch of Senate Guild Mages, which uh, part of the donation to for this deck. Uh, part of it was that I need to activate Senate Guild Mage as much as possible. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to activate uh Senate Guild Mage as much as possible. Um, yeah, y'all, we, we we've talked about that before of like maybe putting the Twitch chat up somewhere on the screen for uh, the YouTube channel. Um, but for the most part, like when we've been, for the most part, uh, people have said that they, they don't like it and it kind of doesn't look good on Magic Arena because Magic Arena has so much information on it. Um, so we're not doing it right unless we mill ourselves with, out with Guild Mage. Um, so, yeah, so we have, so that's, that's one thing. Uh, besides that, we have, uh, we have some dive downs to protect our angels, which I like that. Um, and I, I like Shimmer Possibility as, as a card. Um, it's a card that I haven't played too much of, but I think it's a really strong card. So I'm happy there. I, we, we kind of have... Like the the Adato Vanguard Seal Away combo is not really a good combo. So like Adanto Vanguard is is your is like a card that's like only good when you're aggressive. Seal Away is only a card that's only good when you're defensive. So like we're just we're just kind of having two exact opposites there. Um, so those those aren't yeah like those are a little weird to have in the same deck. And the the thing is, is it doesn't look like our deck is very aggressive. So the Adanto Vanguards are um, something I'm not too thrilled about. Um, yeah, you're unsure of Adanto. Yeah, that's that's one I'm not not in love with the Adanto Vanguard here. Um, but maybe that'll help us help us beat uh, Control. Because like what what it looks like we have here, it looks like we're going to be really weak to Control. Because um, Control can easily answer basically everything that we have in our deck. Um, all right, you want me to change that? All right, I would. I think that, I mean, just just playing just playing Tithe Taker there. If you want, if we want a two drop, Tithe Taker over Vanguard is just a lot better two drop for the deck. Um. Okay, and then we have a whole lot of deputy detentions, which. So this is a card that. That I'm starting to see pop up more in like Bant lists, especially with like Militia Bugler, um, but then as like an, another removal spell for like uh, for Bant decks that have like even like Vivian Reed, they can they can take out four. I like how we have all the the dive downs to protect it. I like that. Um, I haven't I haven't played with Deputy Detention yet. Uh, I'm a little skeptical of like the one three body of like one damage. You know, like it it kind of doesn't really ever get into combat, so you're just playing a creature. That's like an, an exile spell that you just hope never dies. But we're gonna try. Uh, but <clears throat> but yeah, JJ saying the de deputy is great. So um, yeah, let's let's try it out here. This is, this would be my first time playing it. Um, Scrabbling claws is not. This is not a a card you can possibly play in standard. This is not. Why why is this in the deck? Why do we have this one, J Jack? That that doesn't seem like a card I would ever want. Um, I love that we have an immortal sun. Um And I like the spy glasses a whole lot too, because planeswalkers are gonna be tough for us, so I like that we have like a couple spy glasses and an immortal sun. I think those are really good. I really like the settles against the other creature decks. Invoke is good. And then we have some counter magic, which is good. Syncopate 
negate, scatter. Uh, detection tower. Not the most necessary. But, um... Yeah, so Scrabbling Claws... It does say draw a card on it, so at, at worst we're, we're just cycling it away. So that's... It has a low... Or sorry, it has a high floor, because at least we get to cycle it. Alright, we can, we can change these Scrabbling Claws? Okay. So... If we change the Scrabbling Claws... How many lands are we at? 24? But we got these things. But we can get a second Immortal Sun in here. And... Uh, the Binding. Yeah, I like Binding. No, Nexus of Fate never touches the graveyard, no. Takali Honor Guard? I guess that would stop our Deputy of Detention. Let's go with the Binding. I like the Binding. And then, uh, so we have Tribunal and not Binding here. I think these days, Binding just kind of better than Tribunal. We're going to make that one other small change. Yeah, we'll switch the Conclave to Binding. So, there we go. Um, Alright, so Beautiful Angels. Let's get the Senate Guild Mage back as our art. So that's our, that's our thing. We're going to hopefully activate Shalai. Or sorry, Senate, no, Senate Guild Mage as much as, much as possible. Um, but yeah, no, Shalai did not make the cut. Does not look like it. Let's, alright. I'm going to make the changes on um, making the changes right now on, on Stream Decker that we just made. Put in We put in Tithe Takers there. Conclave Tribunal turns into Ixalons. Binding. Um, and then Sideboard. That is out. A third binding. Um, a second sun. Okay. All right, so that's changed. Hey, Norm himself with our 10th sub of the day. Welcome to the channel, Norm. That means we are getting a pack for getting to 10 subs. So here is... Let's see what we get. So we're we're trying to get uh, mythics. That's what we're hoping hoping to open up. So that gets us to our second sub goal. We are now down to 67 before the next 12-hour stream. Hmm. Well, if we want mythics, that's a pretty good one. That's a pretty good mythic. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, a couple questions. That's a good question, Panther. I'll, let's see. There's another question, though, before. Um, why is nobody playing Unmoored Ego? It seems like a great card for sideboarding, eliminating a few decks completely. Is because basically every, everybody has, like, after after sideboard, I don't think Unmoored Ego really eliminates any decks, honestly. And it's just always card disadvantage. Um... You do get to take some cards out of their deck, but you know you never get to take cards out of their hand because they get to replace the card in their hand if you name it. And so because it's always card disadvantage, it doesn't usually play out as well in practice as what it kind of seems like it may. Um, all 
All right, Senate Guildmate. We're going to need you to find another land. All right, have you ever thought about doing, like, instructional content on your YouTube, like how to build a proper mana base or figuring out what to put in and out of your sideboard, what to change in and out? I haven't really considered that, Panther. Um, yeah, I, I have not... I've honestly not really considered doing anything like that. Maybe that's something I do in the future. Okay, we got our land. Do I want to keep negate available? I mean, if they play like if they play Teferi next turn, I'm certainly going to need to negate it. Um, but yeah, for the most part, like I would spend like the seven, eight hour streaming every day. It's usually like enough magic for me, uh, which I, I haven't really made um, other videos. But maybe that's something I should look into. So they just inside on end step, and then I guess we have. Let's just play our card. They play Teferi. They like maybe minus on our Splendid Angel. Okay. We have Deputy Detention that can take Teferi. Please, no Teferi, no Teferi, don't do it. Ugh. I'm known for my excellent. Hold that thought. Get that thing out of here, and hopefully we can get a, a fourth land next turn. So like, even, like they're likely going to kill Deputy. They get their Teferi back, but then we get fourth land. Ooh, no removal, no removal. All right, wow, that's awesome for us. Okay, now we sit back and protect Deputy. Still got to beat a Search for Escanta though. Search for Escanta is still a messed up card. Okay, I always struggle with deciding what to change up with my sideboard. Gotcha. That's kind of a... A... See, it's the kind of thing that changes so much deck by deck. It's kind of... Um, a thing. Yeah, I guess we could have deputied search. I wanted to keep both negate and dive down available, but maybe that's just too much. I also have negate. Let's go ahead and deputy the search. We'll do it now. Um, now that we still have negate. I want negate for a sweeper. For sure. It doesn't seem like they have um, targeted removal. Hmm. So if I counter this. I can't. Yeah, I think I need to let that resolve. Alright, so anyway, it changes so much uh, deck by deck. So it's kind of something you just need to practice with. And like while you're playing the games, think of like what cards don't uh, do a whole lot um, for you. Like what... And, uh, and everything. Sideboarding is one of the very hardest things in Magic though, for sure. Yep, you can find all the decks we've played so far here. Dream Eater. Not expecting that. That's a scary card, though.
Wait. So this is kind of the problem that I was saying with deputy detention, is that I just don't really see it ever ending games, and like you kind of have to like protect it forever. It doesn't ever end the game. Alright, so Dawnbringer, uh, especially if we draw a white source next turn, if we like hit him with Dawnbringer, get to play like double resplendent angel, maybe we can like actually end the game quickly. They have a ton of looks, of course, at sweepers. That's just gonna give him even more. One on top, two on bottom. So he certainly liked some card. Oh, that's that's a that's even better than a white source. That is very good. Counter magic's still good. Oh, just go to dam. Yeah, come on, go to damage. Yeah, negate was a great draw. Is Teferi even going to do very much for them? I guess they tuck Dawnbringer. They only have one white sword, so we can't don't have to worry about like a Kaya's Wrath or something like that. I know my responsibility. They have more to fairies. No time for a break. Hey Eddie, today's going awesome. Decks have been doing really well for us so far. Alright, looking for another negate here. Oh no, we are out of negates, aren't we? Can't have them find a sweeper. As long as they don't find a sweeper. Yeah, we've had we have two negates in the main deck. Now what? I, guess I could see the merit to playing Resplendent Angel there, since we're just all in anyway, kind of thing. Splendid Angel gets us another 4-4 four, four and a 5-5. A five, five. I, I, could, I, could, I could certainly see... Yeah, I think I should have just... Honestly, I think I should have just played Resplendent Angel. We're already so bad against a Wrath anyway. Now we don't need to, though. Now I'm just going to be activating Resplendent Angel. How's the Aristocrat deck performing? Did pretty well. 
Uh, we struggled against the other aggro decks with that. I attacked with the deputy because I didn't think they could block deputy. Because I was dealing lethal. If they did, however, they had moment of craving. Which made Hurry. it not lethal. Though they were just going to be chumping with the dream eater. It was going to be lethal until moment of craving. What makes this beautiful, Angels? I don't know. Um, there's like blue white angels. So beautiful. Oh yeah, they do just get to mortify the binding, don't they? I was thinking like removing that and then like they, they kill one creature. Like they kill one creature. Alright, so if, if they mortify binding, they bounce a creature. Yeah, so yeah, more yeah. Basically how much do I want to play around settle? If any at all. I think still I think the answer is kinda none like before. Because let, let's say they settle these creatures. Are we really winning? No, because if they have settle, they settle those. They binding the Dream Eater. We're not winning with Teferi in this. We're not winning if they have settle. So I don't think playing around settle is the thing to do. Yeah, we can't. Even if they, even if we just play a couple creatures. If they have settle at all, we're not going to win. Okay. Well, they did. So the 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 turn I regret the most was not playing the Resplendent Angel and just and holding up the Chemist's Insight. That was the turn I really regret the most. Yeah, let's get all these negates in here and Syncopate and our Spy Glasses and Immortal Suns. Um, certainly want all all of those things in as well. Um, Don't want seal away. Yeah, I kind of want to just get rid of deputy. Honestly. Is yeah, deputy's just never gonna. Tithe is awesome. Deputy's just gonna die. It's kind of the same thing with binding.
No, we don't have any Angel of Grace. That could certainly be something we'd want. Yeah, not having any Angel of Grace. That's kind of rough. Well, Deputy Detention, I think, is for other matchups, I think. Our deck's not helping us out now. Alright, if we hit these land drops, we get to Immortal Sun. Negate's awesome, but I, I need to get to this Immortal Sun. Why not attack with one or two angels there because of the Dream Eater? Because we knew they could mortify, uh, kill the Binding, uh, get Dream Eater, bounce a, a token. The burn deck was really good. It was really good. All right, so. At least we get to start activating our guild mages now. That was what we were trying to do earlier. It's unlikely this Immortal Sun will work, considering our opponent knows about it. Yeah, it was an all or nothing that turn. Yep. Yep. Got to, got a removal spell out of their hand. Come on, Immortal Sun. Mortify is is really good. It's been a very impressive card. Um, you know, for like these Esper decks and, and everything. Just it's been really good in this format with how important enchantments are. Well, Mortify cannot kill Immortal Sun. Mortify only destroys enchantments. Them using the counterspell on the creature uh, earlier means they probably had another counterspell. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Let's skip to the good part. We could draw another Immortal Sun here. Tithe Taker. We need to move quickly. Yeah, that's why I don't like Conclave Tribunal or Ixalan's Binding in like any deck. I just I don't like those removal spells at all. Uh, the enchantment removal at all, really, because there's so many ways to deal with enchantments. Um, so you see, like with, like the, like the white decks that I had before, it just didn't have like basically any removal spells. Yeah, game's over. Mold of five was not good. Ooh, it's too many zeros. 
All right, let's try to fight back. I think I think our deck may just be too underpowered for the format. We have a lot of very average or below average cards here. They're kind of together. And our standard format is really good. Jjax said he was really high on, on Deputy earlier. So, you know, I'm willing to, to try it out. I, myself, I, I'm not a fan of the card, but I also haven't really been playing it, so... Um, you know, I, I could be wrong. All right, Sultai Climb. Do you think the format will go back to Niv Dex being a good thing? Not really. Um... Niv is really slow in this format. Like, the format's just gotten a lot faster. And there's just, you know, even more answers to Niv and everything. Just more good removal spells like Mortify and so on. What do we want to do here? We're just passing? Best of One's a different format than than standard. Like Best of One and standard are, are two different formats. Um, for how the like the decks that you want to be playing in Best of One, uh, what in like the type of decks it incentivizes you to play um, be, without having sideboards, and also how they're the two hands are generated and that also changes the amount of lands you want to have in your deck and everything and they're just different they're different formats all right we got we got the j light deputy for a little bit here All right, so if we uh, guess, I'm just going Dawnbringer. I could go Resplendent Angel with Dive Down Protection. Um. I probably need to hope they don't have removal, but they don't. We know these other cards aren't lands because they weren't hitting land drops, and they weren't like spells that they were playing before because they were just they just held up their mana. So I feel like these have to be removal spells. So I guess I'm just gonna go Resplendent Angel with Dive Down. The problem is is blocking honestly with the Winged Temple of Arazka. Um my blocks are my block is really poor. If I block Chupacabra, I guess it taps them out. They activate Winged Temple on Chupacabra. So if I play Lyra, I don't get an extra Angel. I think it's worth it to get the extra Angel um, that I can block with.
yeah, Resplendent Angel is awesome. So they need to use removal on Resplendent Angel, and then I can play like Lyra and have like this thing be a 5 5 lifelinker. And just, you know, we're just trying to race them, really. We're in a, a pretty decent spot. Hmm. It does take four mana away from them again to activate. Actually, I, li I like this. See, if I take it, then they just get to use their, their mana, the second main, uh, efficiently. You know, like they just, you know, they just deal five to me and then they get to play like their Vivian or whatever. I think this is actually just a fine block. Where if they want to trade, it takes four mana away from them to trade. And I, I am interested in bottlenecking their mana. So if I if I block the Jade Light, the Jade Light becomes a 6-5 when they activate Winged Temple. And so it would just kill my angel and not trade, where these will trade. Aha, so they just want to use their mana. And there we go, that's the game. I think. Yeah, it should be game. Can they get they can get back Chupacabra and play Chupacabra if they have a land drop? Yeah, so this becomes a this could become a 14-14 trampler with Winged Temple. Or 14-13, but yeah, 14 power. I'm getting the Mardu Angels up. All right, got the first, got the first game. Shows how good Resplendent Angel is. It is so good. So we want Settle against the green creature deck. Do we want Scatter? I assume so. Doesn't counter um, Carnage Tyrant. Um, let's see, Bindings can come on out. Spyglass for Vivian. We have a Detection Tower in here, which Detection Tower presumably is in our sideboard for Carnage Tyrant. Um, yeah, we can definitely just cut Deputy. The problem is, is even when Deputy exiles something, like we saw the last game, all their things are ETB effects. So, like, we exile something, they kill Deputy, they get it back, they get the ETB trigger again kind of thing. Other negates for find finality. I I don't mind that at all. Yeah, I like I like countering find finality. 
Immortal Sun also for Vivian. Other Immortal Sun in. Alright, we're gonna be just a kinda weirdish blue white control deck. Hey Luca. I like the dive downs to protect the angels though. I like that. We are always negating. Yeah, I think Deputy is, is better in the best of one format than in the best of three format. Deputy gets a lot worse after sideboard because everybody has more removal in their deck after sideboarding, um, which certainly makes Deputy worse. So they can't Vivian yet, so I'm not going to have Negate up yet. Man, I want to kill that land war elf, but I really should just block the branch walker. Looks like this could be find finality. I mean, they're looking at their graveyard, that's why I was just saying that. Well, I'm... Seems like a little bit of a made-up number. Best of one is 70% decks that run 12 3 damage spells. Seems like a made-up number. Hmm. Don't have negate for that anymore. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. I hope they take down. Come to me. So it's going to be like that, huh? Do I play another Resplendent Angel? Can I play in this Guild Mage? I guess if they play something like Finality, that's going to tap them out. So I don't have to worry about like having another protection spell. Oh, that's true. We're supposed to activate Guild Mage as often the as possible. Are my shield. I'm not sure about cast it as often as, as possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's real bad. Is Sword Point Sword the craft? How did it perform in the deck? What? All right, that's fine. Oh, is, is sword point diplomacy worth the the crafting? Okay, I got you. Yeah, I I really liked the card in the deck. I thought it was really good. If I activate Resplendent Angel, we don't have Dive Down up for a turn. 
but it's likely... I mean, they'd have to just draw an instant speed removal spell there. Let's do this again. Thanks, Tychorus. Oh, Hydroid Crisis, though. The 6-6. Six, six. I'm only playing one guild mage here because I'm going to need to discard the other one to the first one. If I had if I had seven mana, we would have drawn a land there. I could have attacked and been able to activate Resplendent Angel and use the dive down to save it. Um, and get another angel and hit them for another four. Which I could still I could could do now. Um But let's activate Senate. But that doesn't help us activate Senate Gold Mage, though. Hey, Maskalar. Yeah, I've played Rhythm of the Wild decks. A lot, of, a lot of times I have like Rhythm of the Wild as like a kind of a sideboard card. Ah. <sighs> uh, it's my own, own playlist. You can do exclamation point playlist can get you there. Perfect. Great draw. Wonderful draw step. Oh, mass manipulation in the sideboard could be pretty good. Yeah, Mass Manipulation could be a good card in this deck. So we can gain six with Resplendent Angel. Um, Lyra Dawnbringer would be good. I like to draw Lyra plus, like, Negator Dive Down. For my two draws. Is that too much to ask, Hawkeye? Hey, Low App, it's going good. Dive down plus Lyra. Ah. Deputy is awesome against Krasis. De that's Deputy is... Yeah, that's... Deputy is great against Krasis. Oh, Shimmer is awesome. Go find that Lyra. Get another Resplendent Angel? Nah, it's just Lyra, though. Uh, uh, uh. 
Attack! Dang, they blocked. Oh, we'll just make another one. Dude, Immortal Sun is great. I think we... Looks like we got this game. So I could just... So, I guess I'm going to attack out... They take 13, go to 1. Keep my Dombringer around. We get to gain millions and millions of life. The... Uh, we had the 6-9 Lyra Dombringer. That's not a power toughness you see on a Lyra Dombringer very often. Alright, 1-1. One one. Yeah, we drew that Ixalan's Binding was awesome, but... See, like, that's how good Resplendent Angel and Lyra are together. So just Resplendent Angel with Lyra, with the dive downs. Uh, pretty awesome. Yes, yeah, 37 to 1. After we were down to 4. A few turns before that. Yeah, we're doing 12-hour stream today. We are halfway through now. We're over 6 hours uh, in. We're halfway through. Um, I think I go Senate Guild Mage on turn two. Yeah, but I think I think Angel of Angel of Grace is a card that I I feel like we're missing in this deck. How's the guild mage? Hasn't been very good. But we're we're still gonna be playing it and activating it though. That's our That was our command for this deck. Man, deputy detention on all these land war elves is gonna be nice. Yeah, I wish it was just draw a card. <laughs> hey, Tate. Let's Vivian. tear this place apart. Yuck. Balance comes. All right, Sultai again. Now we're getting started. Give me these. The next turn, Binding Vivian. Still attack to Vivian just in case. I don't think the two damage on them will, will matter too much there. Meet my newest friend. No Chupacabra. No Chup. Alright, not a Chup. Deputy being that three for one. Uh, Carcissia? Maybe we'll go with that. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for subscribing there. Really do appreciate it. That gets some hype boats in the chat. Thanks, White Jaguar, throwing them out there. Tell. Cool, got it right. Carcissia. All right, so that's sub number 11 on the day. Oh, and looks like we lost some subscribers from before. So we're actually down to, back down to 72 subs. So I guess uh, so some subs are, like one month ago, people's subs are uh, expiring. Ha! 
Give me these land whirls back. Hey, aesthetics! Getting bored the hype boat also. Keep that hype going. Thank you so much, aesthetics. Sub number 12 on the day. Seventy one. Maybe the opponent just has another Zagana. And more Vivians in their hand. Uh oh. Alright, we need land. Land? Alright. Here we go. Dawnbringer, go save us. We do it. These cards could really be anything if you think about it. So much possibilities. Yeah, thanks for thanks for remembering to resub there, aesthetics. Thank you. All right, you can have your land where all is back. That ooze is going to get too big. Ooh, I do like Resplendent Angel. Dim sum with the sub there. Also getting in on the action. No, I just have two bindings in the main deck. That's sub number 13 on the day. And we're back down to 70. Alright, let's look for any of our negates or... Hmm. Really find, want to find negates or... or uh, Dive down. So if I if I play Resplendent Angel here, do I find protection for Deputy, or do I get the Resplendent Angel out? I guess they just don't have removal, right? Okay, changing the deck for Cleansing Novas. I don't mind that, Matthew. Whoa! That's it? That's it, Hawkeye? I couldn't handle it. Alright, let's go Nova, Nova, Settle, Settle, Scatter... Um, Spyglasses, Sun. I'm guessing they had a bunch of Vivians in their hand. We don't want Deputy to go with our Cleansing Nova. What are you doing? Hawkeye was attacking the tie. Um. Last time I, I took out Seal Away and Binding and brought in neg other negates.
I think I liked that last time. Let's try it again. I I have not seen that deck, Dim. I was I was really happy with my Bant mid-range deck that I played earlier. Um, I thought it was really strong, but I I didn't have. I wish I had Biogenic Ooze in the deck though, but I already had like a lot of other five drops. Now we got, we have twenty four lands. I think there might have been two. There, I think there was two columns of lands. I think there was eight eight lands in a, another column on the right that was off the screen. I don't know who King Vargas is, but our opponent really doesn't like them. Wants them fired. Yep. Oh, is it... Yeah, I don't think it's Scott Vargas. I think it's LSV. Brontodon is really annoying against my Immortal Sun plan. Because I, you know, I, I can kill the Brontodon here. But the problem is, is they have like find finality and stuff to be able to get, get it back. But we're going to kill it here because I want to play Immortal Sun next turn. All right, two nails. Have a good night. Hopefully we can find dive downs or negates. We can play Lyra and like one of those. Now we don't have to worry about a Vivian killing a Lyra though. Hmm. We do have to worry about that thing killing us. That thing kills us pretty quickly. Yeah, our opponent's presenting lethal. We need to draw something besides, you know, we gotta draw something else to go with these Lyras. All right, negate. Or resplendent. If there's if I take negate, they could have chupacabra and chupacabra kills me. If I take resplendent, I'm not dead to chupacabra. But resplendent could just trade with crisis. I think I guess resplendent's the safer card. Oh, right, Resplendent's going to be a 5 Oh, it's a 5-5 five, five right now, but if when Dawnbringer dies, it turns into a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, take the Angel, too. Yep. Yeah, because I don't want to just die to one Chupacabra here. Okay, well, Negate would have been better against Contempt. All right, deck draws another, gets another like negate or dive down. Dive down would be nice. Okay, it's better than nothing. 
Oh, yeah, I guess we have to tap like that. No more removal for Dawnbringer. Hopefully they just have a bunch of Vivians in their hands. Aha! No dive down here. And there we go! Opponent did not have the removal for Dawnbringer or Resplendent Angel, and those are just going to take over. Alright, good job, Immortal Sun. Two and one. Tithe Ticker is just a, a strong two drop that uh, that trades well. It's a good speed bump against aggressive decks and um, even against control decks. You know, strains their mana a little bit. Yeah, Immortal Sun carried that one. All right, two and one. <laughs> Yeah, it, was, it wasn't looking good after our first game, but we got a couple wins here. We're going to keep all these lands. Godless Shrine. There's Mardu Angels. Ah, Aristocrats. Pillars Pontiff is basically unblockable. Uh, I guess, well, Lyra has First Strike. So First Strike takes care of it, actually. Good draw, good draw. I would I would prefer to wait till turn six to play Lyra. If I can stay alive. Oh, because indestructible, right. First strike doesn't matter. Indestructible. That's a, see, my first thought was it's in was that it was um That was my first thought was that it was Unblockable, and yeah, the answer is it is unblockable. So we take five this turn. Hopefully, I have something to do next turn. Okay, we got double Lyra. We're doing great. Billion! Thanks for the support, Billion. Glad you're joining the stream. Okay, so that's sub number 14 on the day. We need 69 more subs for the next 12 hour stream. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just go ahead and play the planes, because then I can inside and seal away. Now, am I attacking with Dawnbringer? Uh, because it doesn't block Pontiff very well. We also have Seal Away. They have the Priest of Forgotten Gods that could get rid of it also. So 
So yeah, I'm guessing they're just going to go ahead and priest here. Do I discard a card to priest? I, I don't, right? No, I do not. That's not a very good card. Tithe Taker, awesome. Binding, awesome. Oh, and just Tithe Taker plus Binding. So I don't really need a Binding. Guild Mage, here we go. I ordered a playset of Priests of Forgotten Gods for five dollars each. I regret nothing. <laughs> or okay, it could have been like three or four dollars. It's still a really cool card. So, really glad this card's designed. Billion says I watch you mainly on YouTube because of the time zone difference, but today I came to sub as I love to play your value decks. Well, thanks, Billion. Well, welcome. Shimmer just worse than Anticipate? No, it's just better than Anticipate. You see four cards. Yeah, Sorcery is not that big a deal. I like seeing four cards. It's, um, it's like it's a hundred and thirty three percent more cards. Uh, four over three, four instead of three. All right, so let's get another binding. Let's get some settles. Uh, scatter. I could spyglass like priest or. I guess Spyglass like the sack outlets. That's kind of weird though. Um, Cleansing Nova is really good unless they have Judith in play. If they have Judith, then Cleansing Nova is not as good. 100%, yeah, 133% of the cards, correct. Not 133% more. Yeah, that'd be correct. 33% more. Yeah. Priest is not a mana ability, no. I don't really see anything to negate. Maybe WD Detention is actually good here. Maybe they just don't don't play very much removal. Actually, let's do that instead of Nova. Let's let's keep the WD Detentions in here. Mana abilities are things that um, like just add mana. It does, it does like, add two mana, but it's not... Like, a mana ability is something, like, that's all it does, is it just adds mana. Um, Stack says it's not a mana ability because it targets. Okay, so that maybe that is a distinguishing fact. There. Yeah, man ability is a misleading term. Basically, hardly anything is a man ability. With like the cards that have abilities. Like if it's not if it's not like a land or something, you know, if it's a regular card, it's probably not a man ability. Yeah, chromatic star does not target. So I guess that's that's the thing, like since you can choose targets. That's what makes it not a man ability. Drill bit. I don't like that one drill bit. Mar Mardu Angels. 
I think is the the stronger deck. Um, ooh, taking the Tithe Taker. Tithe Taker would have been able to trade for these. Give me that angel. Now, am I using this deputy at attention before I have dive down protection? Man, I still don't like that one drill bit. And there goes like deputy detention, likely, unless they have an answer to it. All right, come on over here. What else you got, Boathouse? <laughs> like our opponent's name. Just realized their name is Boathouse. No more Judiths for the rest of the game. None. Who's the Aristocrats deck now? My little one power creature chipping in. Uh, incorrect, Belderon. They do not get to see the old... They don't see the old deputy at attention. It's pretty dang close. So when I remember things I miss from me. Hey, what's up, Redgrave? Um, Aristocrats comes from a creature type that was like this style deck back in like Innistrad, original Innistrad ish area. Yeah, it's been, been fixed for a couple months. Like that. Um, I think like whenever like Arena Beta first started, it wasn't like that, but it's, it's been fixed for a few months. Three and one. Angels are good against aggro. Yeah, Cartel Aristocrat and Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Thank you so much. Yeah, those cards. Well, so like the creature, so they weren't actually. Was Aristocrat their actual? Um, their actual like. Like were they aristocrats or were they just vampires? They're just named aristocrat. Maybe they're just named Aristocrat. I like your black-white afterlife divine visitation deck. It looks pretty sweet. Um, History of Benalia may be a card to add in, in that kind of deck. If you're able to get those. Rick's Mahdi. Hey, Morphs. Good afternoon. Thanks, Julius. Okay, so they're just named Aristocrat. They're not actually... Aristocrats. Hmm. So I'm taking the Tithe Taker here because of Priests of Forgotten Gods. I want uh, the Tithe Taker there. Because he can trade with like multiple things. Also. Um, even though Resplendent Angel is, is more powerful. Maybe because I have Binding and I would be able to Binding the Priest next turn. I should just be taking Resplendent. Hmm. 
Hmm. White Jaguar, uh, Echo Slayer right above you. <clears throat> Um, had some words for the deck that may help out. I think it's unlikely my opponent has another answer for Dawnbringer right away. At least I, I mean, it's certainly possible they do, um, but I hope they don't. I'm gonna try to play Dawnbringer next turn because Warboss makes tokens that have to attack, so they have to like attack into the Dawnbringer, which uh, could be really beneficial for me. So now I wish I would have just grabbed Resplendent Angel instead of the Tithe Taker. That's scary. I may still just be dead. Judith is real scary. Yeah, I needed to grab Resplendent Angel right about now. I mean, I still have another Shimmer. I can Shimmer for like another Resplendent Angel if we get to untap. Eleven, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, if my opponent just attacks out, I'm dead. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have lethal. If they attack with all. Judith is hecka scary. All right, extra binding, some settles, scatter, just sideboarding exactly like we did just a little bit ago. Um, we brought in those. And then uh, I cut negate. And I think I cut two Senate Guild Mages. Oh, because they did attack. They attacked with Judith. If I atta if I blocked Judith, oh, I could have survived if I blocked Judith. Would that have been eleven? So they would have had. Hmm. Dive down. It's still reasonable. I didn't I didn't really consider just blocking Judith there. Cuz all those creatures would lose one power. Would they still had 11 damage cuz I was at 6 and I was gaining 5. Um So yeah, Judith pings me for one, puts me down to ten. The war bosses two. They had. Oh yeah, so they would have had lethal. Cause they would have had um, four other goblins. Ugh. I don't think it's likely. We're only a twenty-four land deck. I don't think it's likely that we're gonna hit five lands here. So four, four two twos, and a one one, and a death damage is ten. So ten. Oh, okay, so I would have been at one. 
Well, could have maybe got there, especially if we would have found Resplendent Angel with Shimmer. Could have possibly, possibly gotten there. We would have had to hit Resplendent Angel, I think. Um, is there? Would we have other outs? Maybe another. Maybe another Dawnbringer. Oh, I guess we wouldn't have had a mana for another Dawnbringer uh, if we cast Shimmer. Also. All right, Resplendent Angel. Okay, that's a good one. Give me that war boss. Yeah, because there's only one war boss attacking, not two. Well, that was my bad. Could at least stayed alive and got another draw step and cast a shimmer possibility. Hey, there's Resplendent Angel. Alright, deck. Helping us out. Kill this war boss. One more land. We get to activate Resplendent Angel. Yeah, I like listening to Death Cat for Cutie, Eddie. really bad hmm need a tight sticker I think I'm just gonna use this dive down if we draw a land I'm not gonna have like the mana for it and we get this token out of here where they have to sacrifice like these things. Ah, uh, we didn't get the land. Hmm. Because the land, we would have been able to gain five and make a token where we could sacrifice the token to Priest of Forgotten Gods. Like we would have been, we would have been doing good with the land there. Um. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. Am I just dead? Yeah, our opponents is playing Judith Priest. Maybe I need to sack Resplendent Angel. I don't know, I think I'm just dead. Ride of Bells and Lock. With the Priest of Forgotten Gods and Judith. Like, this is... our. Our opponent's running a clinic here. All 
All right, so I, I need to sacrifice the Resplendent Angel. Which is really unfortunate, but I need to sacrifice Resplendent Angel to pre like whenever they activate Priest, right? Yeah, we were on a mold of five too. This priest is just killing us. So that's gonna be that's six, nine, eleven. Yep. Gotta sacrifice that, and then we got to gotta draw Lyra. Actually, we need to draw Settle the Wreckage there. Because, yeah, our Angel is dying. Alright, well, game one. I guess I could have stayed alive for another turn. But that game two wasn't with us. But still, we got 3 2. Nothing wrong with that. Thanks, American. Alright. So, yeah. Um. Talking about the deck a little bit. Um, there are some things about the deck I really liked. Lyra, Resplendent Angel, and then Dive Down in a Gate. Those are awesome. Basically everything else in the deck, I can kind of leave. I don't... Tithe Taker is good. That's a good two drop, but... Senate Guild Mage, Deputy Detention, Enchantment Removal, like Seal Away Binding... And then they're, you know, like those are all cards that I'm not too excited about at all. Um, I think they're all just kind of average or below average cards. And I, I think that's kind of a problem is we just have so many underpowered cards for standard. Um, but Resplendent Angel, Lyra, and Dive Down in a Gate are amazing. And like the Angels with, with the protection was awesome. And so we were winning the games with those. Um, love those. I would like to see like Angel of Grace is in here. Also, if we want to keep on going with that, Angel of Grace, we've seen like we can play that, stay alive, and then untap Dawnbringer is like is really strong. Um, and uh, yeah, I think if I think for Deputy to be good, you need to be a more aggressive deck probably. I I mean I do like how we have like lots of ways to protect Deputy. the The problem is we can protect Deputy for a little bit, but we never end the game. We don't end the game in a reasonable amount of time, so they can just draw more removal. Um, but there we go. So thanks for the donation there. Hey, QQ Image. And, uh, all right. I'll do it for Beautiful Angels here. Uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube later, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you for the next video.